hey guys what's up and welcome back to a new video but before we get into it i would like to take a moment to say thank you to all my channel members whose names are appearing on screen now if you wish to become a channel member and support the channel you can do so by clicking the link in the description the first tier will get your name on screen at the beginning of reaction videos the second tier will get your name on screen plus access to bi-weekly members only live streams and the third tier will get you all of that plus a members only video on the weeks where I'm not live streaming. Usually these videos are life updates or get ready with me style videos but it sometimes it's recipes or training things it depends really. You obviously don't have to become a member to support the channel just by simply watching uh, you are supporting the channel but if you want to send a super thanks you can do so too and you can always comment like and subscribe if you wish to support the channel further. Now let's get into the video. Hey guys what's up and welcome back to the channel my name is Ilona I'm also known as Shikara Transformations I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder and today we're going to look at a video by Sierra Ann now I've seen her before on like a TikTok or something like that uh, like a full day of eating and uh, she comes up in my shorts and I'm subscribed to her apparently uh, I think it's because people have suggested that I do reactions to her and I think I can kind of see why because I'm looking through her channel now and she's I think on a weight loss journey but then all of her TikTok, she's just like eating crap all the time. It looks like she eats a lot of fast food for somebody that's trying to do weight loss. But then apparently she's in like a binge eating disorder recovery as well. So I'm not too sure what's going on with that. If she does like intuitive eating, if she's using like uh, her recovery as an excuse to eat like crap. I really, I have no idea. So maybe I need to start taking a look at her a bit more because she has got a huge following. She's got something like 778,000 subscribers on Instagram. Uh, And uh, she has uh, almost half of, well, over 368,000 on TikTok. So she is a fairly big player in terms of social media. Uh, I think I've seen a video with her before where because her like boyfriend is like normal size and she's like a bigger girl or something like that. But um, I don't really know anything about her. I don't know if she's like a good person or like a bit of a lol cow, whether she's just somebody that is like genuinely on a recovery journey. I have no idea. However, the one thing that I did saw the the one video that I did want to go over with you guys is this one called I stopped eating fast food for 30 days and this is what happened or this happened basically so I figured we could take a look at that because that sounds kind of interesting uh, and it may not be I have no idea I haven't watched this yet but I figured let's watch it together so that's food. This is so annoying. Why am I doing this? This was the reset that I needed to get out of my bad habit of ordering DoorDash. I feel like I eat pretty healthy, regardless of all the internet trolls in my comment section. Day one. Day two. Day 15. Day 26. Day 29. Day 30 of no fast food for an entire month. So, like, it's crazy. To, like, it literally is crazy to me that people need to have a challenge to not eat fast food for a whole month. I don't, I, I, I don't, I'd never eat fast food. Like, what is determined? Do you mean like just takeout? Like, I don't think necessarily all takeout is fast food. For me, I will clarify what I deem fast food. I deem fast food things like pizza, burgers, fried chicken, like junk food. That's what I determine fast food because over here, when you order delivery, it's not fast. Is sushi fast food? I order sushi sometimes. Is that fast food? I don't think sushi is fast food, in my opinion. It's pretty healthy. It depends, obviously it depends on the kind of sushi you have, but like, I don't know, like what is considered fast food? For me, it is really, it, for me, it is very highly processed um, foods that are just fats and carbs, basically. Not particularly healthy. That's what I deem fast food. But we'll see. Hi guys. What is your definition of fast food? I'd be curious to see what you guys oh, have to say. Welcome back to my channel. If you're not familiar, I went on a one month challenge and I vlogged day one through day 30 of not eating fast food. All here on my YouTube shorts, but you can also check out this compilation video where I've grouped together all of the days. And with this challenge, I've had so many questions. I just thought I'd make a full YouTube video explaining everything. I asked you guys on my community tab just to leave me a few questions and I'd answer them. So that's what this video is for. Now, before we get into the video, I would like to now we are definitely not going to watch the shorts uh but we'll, we'll go over 
this and um, i'm curious to see what she has to say like genuinely i have no idea what's gonna happen the reason why i did this challenge was one to save money because every single time i order on doordash my heart breaks a little bit i was spending so much money on there it's embarrassing and two for my health because as most of you know now i struggle with binge eating and fast food really was just fueling my eating disorder and making things so much worse to recover say i go to now, I, like I said, I don't know what the deal is with this story. So if somebody has a bit of background, then feel free to enlighten me. Does this girl undergo therapy? If she does, what kind of therapist does she have? I'm going to assume it's like an intuitive eating one. Um, but if she is having binge eating problems, then she should probably work with a therapist. And not to say like, I have binge eating disorder and just that's it, right? I don't know. But I assume she worked with a therapist. I don't know. I, like I said, I don't actually know anything about. Does she even have a kiwi farm thread? Let's have a look. I, I don't think. I don't think she has a thread on kiwi farm. So I guess she's not that much. She's not. She can't be that problematic because with this amount of followers. If she was problematic, she would have a thread on the farms by now. King. I'd order the burger combo that I wanted, but then I'm like, ooh, I really want some cheese sticks, so I'm gonna order that too, but I want some jalapeno poppers. So like, I'll order that. Ooh, maybe a milkshake, this, that. I would just go all out and I'd order so many different things. And when I get home and I have all of the food, I just, it's all there in front of me. I don't wanna just stop eating it. Sometimes I just can't stop myself. And I also feel bad if I don't finish all of the food. If I'm full. Well, this is, uh, this is obviously the problem that you're going to have in it when you order a lot of takeout is that um, you're going to eat it all, you know, I'll do the same when I order sushi. I'll, I'm like, oh, all of this sounds nice, so I order all of it. And then I don't eat all of it in one go. I usually eat it throughout the whole day. But yeah, you're going to eat it all because it's there. If there's food there, you're going to eat it. This is why, you know, I don't keep food in the house. I shouldn't be eating when I'm trying to be good with my diet because if it's there, I'll eat it. What? I literally sit there and force myself to eat all of the food. I wish I was the kind of person who will put my leftovers in the microwave and eat them again later, but no, that's just, it's never been me. If I order something, I'm eating it all right there. If I go out to a restaurant, if I get it to go play, I'm eating it as soon as I get home. And unfortunately, that's just me. So those are the two big reasons why I stopped eating fast food for a month. Now, one of the biggest questions that I had was how much money did I save? I really wish I would have documented how much my groceries were costing. But unfortunately, Unfortunately, I did not. I didn't plan for this challenge. The thing is though, like when you cook from scratch a lot, especially if you have a high protein diet, it's not cheap. It's quite expensive. I spend, I spend a lot of money on food. Uh, maybe that's because the food prices have gone up, but I do spend just a lot of money on food because I eat a lot of things like chicken breast and stuff like that. So it adds up quickly. Challenge to get so big and everyone be asking like how much money did you save? I can't go back to my bank account and like add up everything because most of my gro grocery shopping that I do is from Walmart and usually when I shop at Walmart I get way more things that aren't grocery. I got Christmas. Right. You want to come? Okay, come on then. Alright, we've got Daisy joining us. I hope it didn't mess up my audio. I, if it has gone a bit funny it's because I'm going on the audio from the camera now because she had to come and everything dropped to calculate that but i did go back on my bank account and i searched doordash this is just sad me and my husband usually both buy doordash on both of our accounts like we'll correlate we'll be like you pay this time i pay this time but i added up in the month of october alone i spent 387 dollars on just doordash so that's not counting the restaurants that we actually went inside sat down and ate or any that's a lot on it 400 dollars a month on just takeout food Sorry, my dogs are being really naughty. They're being like needy and attention seeking and I don't know why because they've both had quite big walks so far today. Two of them in fact and it's like 3 o'clock, well 2.30. They're going to go for another walk soon. So they're just being, I'm, I, so I think it's maybe because I'm like filming and I'm talking and normally I'm sitting here in silence. I don't know. Anytime anyway. we went through a drive through that's just counting ordering on DoorDash. I spent almost $400 in the month of October on DoorDash alone. And that's not even counting my husband's account. That is embarrassing. I would try to go back and add up. That is a lot. So they must span, 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 spend in total, if that's just on one, only on DoorDash, not taking into account other restaurant meals, take drive throughs and his... He's spending as well. Oh, I'm foolish. I say I must spend like a grand a month, I reckon. What, 800 to a grand a month? Dollars? 
on takeout or fast food, that's a lot of it. To like fast food places, I actually spent. Going through all of that and the names, it would just be too hard. But if that gives you any idea of how much money I was spending on food, it was a lot. And how is this helping with her recovery? I felt to see, like, the, for somebody that's trying to deal with a binge eating disorder, to spend so much time, so, so, yeah, it's literally so much money and so much time going to fast food places that doesn't make sense like it doesn't seem like you're actively trying to really do anything about your recovering recovery to be honest so yes i save money definitely by cooking from home and i even mentioned this in one of my vlogs but i would buy steak from the store and it'd be 15 dollars. but the month before we would order doordash steaks and it was literally 50 dollars. like i i have it in my phone i can show you also it felt i would never order a steak for delivery by the time it comes, it's gonna be fucking gross. Who orders steak for delivery? Na 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 na. Steak you have to cook fresh yourself. And it's so quickly done as well. It takes like 10 minutes to cook steak. I would never order that for delivery. So good whenever I was buying groceries. Like when I buy groceries, my heart does not do the whew, as much as literally spending $50 on one meal on DoorDash with the tip and the delivery fee. Or even if I have Dash Pass, there's still some extra fees that they add in there. Anytime I would press, you know, deliver it to my house, I was just like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to my bank account? So it just felt great not to have the guilt of spending all of that money. Cause every time I did it, I felt like shit, but I just kept doing it. It was literally an addiction. Someone asked, do I feel any different after doing the challenge? And 100%, I have to say, I feel so much better. I feel like I have so much more energy after I eat. When I bet it makes a big difference. I always feel very sluggish whenever I eat fast food. This is what I find really annoying when people say like, oh, calories don't matter. It's like, um, like it doesn't matter what, like as the calories in, calories out. You're like, yeah, at the core, calories in, calories out. But where your calories come from makes a difference. Some foods fuel your body and nourish your body and energize your bodies and others don't. You can't compare like eating a thousand calories of McDonald's to a thousand calories of like healthy whole foods and lean proteins and stuff like that. It's just not the same. And me and Kevin would order fast food. We hated it. We kept doing it. I don't know why, like I don't understand, but we would order fast food and we'd lay on the couch and we just feel like crap. We wouldn't do anything for the rest of the day. We wouldn't go anywhere. We ordered in some Panda, you know, like a super carby meal. Cause carbs, they just make you tired. That's how I feel. When we eat super heavy carbs, we feel so tired for the rest of the day. So I 100% feel different. I felt like I could actually maybe clean the house, go hang out with some friends or do something else after I ate and I didn't feel like I'm gonna literally throw up. I remember sometimes I would go to bed and my stomach would be so full. I would just feel so sick from eating fast food. This, this is crazy to me that somebody is like choosing to put themselves through this on a regular basis. And I just don't, I, yeah, I mean like, I guess she's, I understand that she has an eating disorder. Like obviously this is clearly somebody that has like an addiction as well. But fucking hell, like that's what puts me off from eating, ordering fast food or ordering especially large quantities of fast food all the time because I know I'm gonna feel like this and I just don't like it. Someone asked, does it make me feel happier? And yes, it does. Regardless of all the internet trolls in my comment section, I think I eat healthy. People judge me because they see me throw some chicken tenders in the air fryer, but what they don't know, yes, they're processed, don't get me wrong. I'm still gonna eat processed food because I'm not there yet, maybe one day. But what they don't see is the amount of protein and also the chicken tenders tenders that I use they're not fried chicken tenders they're I mean I let's have a look at a channel see if I can see anything here that just tests, sticks out like a chicken tender here and there is not really an issue right did she become popular through her shorts I don't know it's hard to say like I don't know what this girl eats on a regular basis if it's like a lot of it processed then yeah that, that is an issue oh yeah look she, Jesus Christ she gets a lot of views on her shorts wow I'll try to get into the shorts unsuccessfully air fried chicken tenders so they were never fried in oil and that's why I feel like I don't feel too sick when I eat them people don't see that the tortillas that I use are the low carb tortillas with lots of extra fibers and all this extra stuff the food that I eat gives me energy it makes me feel good so that's why I eat it. so I guess she's not a weight loss channel she's just a binge eating recovery channel I'm guessing yeah I'm assuming
like it. I don't really care what you have to say. If you think what I'm eating is wrong, don't eat it. Especially the ranch dressing. Everyone was so triggered when I used ranch dressing on my chicken, my salads. I am a ranch person. I'm from the South. We eat ranch dressing on everything and I'm gonna continue to eat ranch dressing on everything. I don't know who told you guys that if you eat ranch, you will gain weight. Like when I lost a hundred pounds back in the day, I ate ranch. I mean, ranch is just really high in fat because it's like mayonnaise based. But as long as you measure it out, you can't have ranch. You can't have mayonnaise. You can't eat anything that's fat as long as you fit it into your calories or into your macros or whatever. Ranch like every day. I don't know who told these people this. Someone asked when I restrict fast food, did it make me want to binge eat it? It didn't for me. I feel like because I was doing the video, it held me more accountable of not going out to eat. Like I think I would have failed on this challenge if I wasn't vlogging every day, but I think the vlogs just made me stay more consistent. So if you really can't do it, I don't blame you. I was mostly doing it because I knew you guys were watching and I didn't want to disappoint anyone. I'm glad glad that I did do it. I feel like the vlogs held me more accountable, which made me not want to go through a drive through and buy fast food. And really, I didn't feel like- I mean, you could have still done it, but I'm the same way though. When I do four days of eating, because I do that in case you ever want to see what I eat as like a bodybuilder and stuff like that. Um, I film a lot of that too. And I do find that the days where I am filming, I, I am more likely to stay on point. I'm so honest though. If I eat crap, I'll tell you, or I'll tell you in the next video, like, oh, I ate crap yesterday. or. I filmed over the weekend and I, I ate some like oven pizza and, I, and I, sh I show that, you know what I mean? But I do find that when I am, I do find that when I'm filming or I'm saying I'm going to do something, I'm more inclined to stick to it because I don't know, I've, I've said to you guys I'm going to do it. So I feel a bit like, I feel a bit shit if I, if I don't stick to it then. Someone asked what's gonna be my next challenge. I really don't know. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think I should do. So many people were telling me that I need to do a like vegan or vegetarian challenge. And I tried that before. I went vegetarian for like a week before, but it did not work out well for me. Sometimes heavy carbs just make me sick. Also, I can't have beans cause they really upset my stomach. And I'm not a huge fan of like sweets all that much. So I really just feel like- <laughs> Sweets. A vegetarian diet doesn't have to be sweets, beans or carbs, like you can eat it as like vegetables and stuff. I suppose fruits are carbs, but yeah, I think, I mean, a, a vegetarian diet is naturally higher carb, but it, it doesn't have to be super high carb, but it, it, it's more inclined to be higher carb, that's for sure diet isn't for me. So many people are getting triggered and mad that like I eat meat. I like meat. I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> did you learn anything while on this journey? I did. I think I did learn that I don't have to eat out every night when I get home. I think I learned just having quick, simple, easy meals as well as things that I can cook is just the best option for me. Cause some the thing is, is that you don't need to, it doesn't, you don't have to spend hours in the kitchen. It doesn't have to take a long time to cook. Food. like even like a chicken breast takes like what 15 minutes to prepare or to cook and uh, not prepare but 15 minutes to cook get yourself some rice some potatoes whatever like it doesn't matter even steak salmon like if you have whole cuts of meat it doesn't take a long time to prepare you can cook yourself a dinner within 20 minutes some nights I really don't feel like cooking, but if I don't have those quick, easy things, the first thing I'm gonna do is get on my phone and order DoorDash. But I think just having those things readily available. Yeah, that's 100% the trick, is just to cook up food in bulk. Uh, that's what I do, I normally will get several kilo, like, I'll get like a couple of, one and a half to two kilos of chicken breast, cook all of that up. I'll do like a giant pot of rice, I'll do, um, you know, for example, if I have liver, I'll cook up, uh, cause I'm trying to eat a bit more liver for the iron. If I have liver, I will cook up like half a kilo of liver and then I'll just eat from that every day a little bit and the animals will get some. So yeah, you don't have to cook everything from scratch for every single meal. Just have some like proteins and carbs cooked up and then like have like a, I don't know, a frozen vegetable or a salad or something like that to go on the side. It's very quick. You can just make a meal in a second accessible in my fridge or my freezer has made this challenge so much easier. Someone asked, has it been hard finding meal ideas? It wasn't for me. I'm always thinking of new ideas or if I see something online, it gives me motivation. I'm like, hmm, you know what? So it really wasn't that hard for me. I feel like the hardest part was trying not to make it boring for you guys and not eat the same thing all the time because I am a meal repeater. I said it a million times, I'm a meal repeater and I'm not mad about it. I'll say it again, I eat the same thing so often often and I didn't want to just have like a whole five days of me eating the same thing who wants to see that every day but I did repeat meals here I do the same thing as well it's convenient isn't it if it works it works like why it's okay to have exciting food saved but at the same time I like cream of rice I like chicken 
I don't mind rice. Some foods are nice. I'm going through a phase of enjoying carrots. I'm eating a lot of carrots. It's nice to snack on. It's crunchy. So many people were wanting to know, did you lose weight? It was really good. And for like the... But I'm so, I'm, I've got through some of this video, guys, because it's like a lot of it, I don't really have a lot to say on, but I'll leave it down below if you want to watch it in full, but I'm just, I didn't know what to expect, and a lot of it is just kind of her talking about her experiences, but not really in, going into particular details that I have any opinions on, so... The same price as Taco Bell, we had so many tacos. We even still have some in there. Oh my gosh, so many people were wanting to know, did you lose weight on this challenge? Now, as I mentioned multiple times, this is not a weight loss challenge. I didn't do this for weight loss, but I can- I imagine she did lose some weight. I'd be surprised if she didn't. See where you guys would be curious just to know if I lost weight. Now, I don't track my weight too much like I used to whenever I was like heavily eating disorder behavior. I literally used to like write it down all the time, track it, but I do go to the doctor often and I do weigh myself occasionally just to see how it's going and everything like that. But, um, yes, I did lose weight on this challenge. I don't know how much weight I lost because, I, like I said, I'm not like heavily tracking it. I will say I did lose weight, obviously, because I mean, I eat. Of, like just from the sodium like I'm not surprised like this is a problem with takeout and restaurant food It's just got so much sodium in it as well, sodium sodium in it And it's uh, got a lot more cal calories in it just but by the way they prepare it So and because it's ultra processed you eat larger volumes of it too. So yeah, I'm not surprised at all a lot of fast food so cutting that out I did lose weight and then I also just recently started back going to the gym more and being more consistent and me and my friend Aisha go to the gym like five days a week so I was kind of bound to lose weight don't know if it's from that probably did pay it play a huge part because like I said I eat it all the time you can't really out train a bad diet it probably is just from not eating as much fast food I'm and I know fast food is very unhealthy for you but yeah I'm sorry if that's not the answer y'all were looking for because like I said this isn't a weight loss challenge or channel did you find yourself craving less and less fast food throughout the challenge I feel like I did like the first few days it was kind of hard because I was like oh. you definitely get addicted to the fast food and the, the the MSG and all of that so it's I can imagine that but to not have it initially I think there's actual studies out there that trying to cut out sugar and like a uh, certain certain combination of foods and like uh, things like MSG it is the same as like uh, uh, people that are trying to kick other addictions I don't think the the responses are as extreme as like an opioid addiction where you can literally die if you stop it or like alcohol addictions but you can experience like headaches and shivers and stuff like that so there is definitely physical you do you do build a physical dependency is what I mean to say on certain food combinations or ingredients I want to order DoorDash. I want to order DoorDash because I was just so used to it. But now I'm so used to cooking. Like the thought of DoorDash genuinely scares me. I'm going to delete it off my phone. I feel like now I'm going to be more scared to actually go in there and order DoorDash just because I haven't done it in so long. I feel like I kind of beat myself up about it. Like, girl, that's a lot of money. You've been eating at home. Sorry if I'm winching. It's just that I need to pee and this video is almost finished. <laughs> but I'm just like desperate to go to the toilet. You've been saving money. This was the reset that I needed to get out of my bad habit of ordering DoorDash. Oh, another thing that I really did crave too, I was eating a lot of salads on this challenge, but nothing can beat Zaxby's salads. <sighs> Sometimes I would just DoorDash one of those and it'd be like $20 to DoorDash. 20 does like 40 level for a salad. Wow. That's a lot. 40 level, you can have a fucking massive takeout meal for that over here. And get it delivered to the house because you know on DoorDash everything's so much more expensive too. But those salads be good. This is January 1st. I actually didn't vlog on the 31st. I ended up ending the challenge on day 30. I still haven't had fast food. Did you find yourself stressed out in any way because you couldn't eat fast food? I don't think I was stressed out. No, not really. I mean, I was annoyed at points, like I said, when my friend was over. The thing is, it's like she's still able to have takeout. It's just she didn't have fast food. She had healthy takeout, which is always an option. You don't have to have fucking burgers, you can have other foods deliver it I'm like I'm maybe you can't in America but I can imagine there is places that do like salads or like grilled grilled lean proteins with vegetables and stuff like that you know good luck with your challenge sending you so much support thank you for being so amazing thank you guys for watching this journey just let me know down below what you would like to see all right guys so I'm gonna have to go because I'm about to piss myself basically genuinely so insert three fast food fast food fast food emojis of your choosing if you've made it this far comment like subscribe dislike the video if you disliked it let me know down below why and i'll see you in the next video 
I might do a few a reaction. I might start doing reactions to her while I eat in a days. Let me know if you think I should. I'm kind of curious to see what kind of stuff she eats. Anyway, I've got to go because literally it's starting to come out. Bye.